Hello everyone, my name is Narayanan and this is a quick walkthrough of Avaaz Live, a teletherapy feature built into the Avaaz AAC app. Avaaz Live enables speech therapists or special educators to connect with their students or clients remotely. Given the current situation due to the COVID-19 pandemic, it has become difficult to continue having face-to-face -face speech therapy sessions. Avaaz Live helps a speech therapist to continue efficient therapy online. They can provide visual prompts to the client, modify vocabulary and even change settings. All of this can be done remotely from the Avaaz AAC app itself without any extra hardware such as webcam, document camera or teleconferencing software. To get started, Tap the Avaaz Live button on the top left corner of the screen. Now, as a therapist, you can start a new session or as a client, connect to the therapist's session. I will go ahead with starting a new session as a therapist. This generates a unique ID and password, which you can share with the client for them to connect to the session. This is a secure connection between you and the client. You can see that my ID is 3OVJGO and the password is 6199. I have shared this ID and password with my colleague Arbaz who will be able to connect with me in a moment. So I'll tap start session and wait for him there. Avaaz Live looks on the Avaaz AAC app. We'll wait for Arbaz to join in. And hey Arbaz. So uh, you can see that this is the layout and I can move this window. I can move this around, reposition it. I can also minimize this. So this is the Avaaz Live window. I can also send a chat message by tapping here. Hi, and send a chat message. Great. So what I'll do next is ask Arbas to tap share screen on his device. This allows me to monitor his app screen instead of his own video. And this is helpful because it eliminates the need for a document camera to see what he's tapping. Arbas, can you go ahead and share your screen? Great. So now I can see Arbaaz's screen, which is similar to the way Avaaz is set up on my iPad as well. Now I will tap request control and this will give access to his device. Once this request is accepted, I will be able to model sentences by guiding him through visual hints, adding vocabulary, and also modifying settings on their device. So to give you an example of a kind of visual prom prompting, I'm going to create the sentence, I want water. And as I tap these words on the screen, you will see the same prompts on the client's screen being mir mirrored. So let me tap the word I. You'll see that the word I is highlighted on the client's screen. Then I'm going to tap the word want and you see that the word want is highlighted now and Arbaz has also tapped the word want. Uh, I can then go to the food category and it auto navigates for the client's device and I can tap the water, the word water and that also highlights there. And this is how you can model sentences with the client being miles away from them. I'm going to go ahead and delete my sentence box and I'll ask Arbaz to do the same. Arbaz, can you go ahead and clear the message box? Great. Imagine you were doing a session and think, hey, let's do a story. So I'll show you how you can add words to the client's vocabulary through Avaaz Live. So I'll tap on topics 
and tap the edit button on the top and add new folder a new category I'll say the hair and the tortoise So it shows an image I'll select and tap save and now I'll double tap into the category and I'm going to add a bunch of words together from that story. So I'll say hair, tortoise, fast, slow, animals. Okay. So this will add all these five items on my device as well as you can see that it has been added to the client's device as well. I'm going to exit the edit mode and tap the word tortoise and you'll notice that it gets highlighted for the client as well and he has selected that now. And so this way you can very easily add words to your client's device and you can stop worrying about asking the parents to do this. Lastly, uh, I wanted to show you settings changes that can be made on the Avaaz app itself. So for example, if you thought that the client could do, would do better with a darker contrast because of vision needs, you can change the setting on your device and it would reflect on the client's device as well. Uh, suppose you want to set the pictures per screen to be eight pictures per screen. You can do that as well. I'll set it to eight and you'll see that the client's device also reflects the same uh, pictures per screen. So with that, uh, I wanted to summarize uh, the features of Ava's life. We initially started off by connecting to a therapist in a secure manner. Uh, we were able to see the client's device and the app. So we modeled vocabulary and the client was shown the visual hints. You added vocabulary to your device and it reflected on the client's device. You made changes on your device for settings and it reflected on the client's device. And all this without any extra hardware at all. So given face-to-face -face sessions are rare right now, Avas Live helps you connect remotely and have an effective therapy session with your client. We hope you liked it and look forward to you using it and sharing your feedback with us. Thank you.